the Social Reform Party, SRP, led by Jacinto Mock, got a second chance on Monday, July the 21st, to the 138 signatures needed to endorse its one-man candidate list for the August 29th parliamentary elections. This second chance is in accordance with Article 28, Section 2, as well as Section 3 of the Electoral Ordinance. Those articles given SRP the opportunity to amend the above-mentioned omission and provide additional endorsement before 12 p.m. on Monday, the leader received the necessary signatures to contest the upcoming elections. Hey, I've, um, I've uh, reached the tally required by, uh, by law and I'm still waiting here till, till 4 o'clock. We have invited the general public to come and uh, participate and um, I will stay here with until everyone has uh, decided to, uh, to come out. Now, what does it mean for a small party um, like the Social Reform Party um, to actually get a second chance, so to speak, and to get um, people to come out to the census office to actually um, endorse the party? Well, to a, second part, to a small party, it's, uh, it's probably means more than a bigger party because they have put more at stake and comparatively they would want to participate. Therefore, to go a second time means for them that they have to make an extra effort and they have to advertise some change, a very drastic change in terms of uh, the constituency. But we have remained, we have added constituency. We were, from the very beginning, social oriented. We were nurses, we were for the doctors, we were for the elderly, we were for the engineers, we were for the that we went into the cultural. We invited Mr. Gordon G to assist us. Mr. Gordon G is a uh, as a large carnival troupe, we invited people from Saint, the area of St. Peter's, we invited people from, uh, from, very, from other counseling and therapeutic organizations. Yeah, so we expanded our constituency with that. We expanded finances, and uh, so far has been okay. okay. What can we expect from the Social Reform Party now that you receive the necessary signatures to run for this upcoming election? We will be preparing for a large scale campaign that we cover patio and uh, like I said for grassroots campaign we plan to get at least one seat and uh, August 29 is not very far from here and uh, all parties are actually treated equal and we hope to continue seeing that. In the beginning most of the newspaper had already taken us for being dead but as we can see it's, we should never speak to Meanwhile, the other five parties in the race for the 15 parliamentary seats have also been informed by the voting bureau about the investigation on the completeness of their candidate list. It is understood that only one party list and documents are fully in order. The other four parties have been informed by the voting bureau to remedy their omissions speedily. Andrew Dick reporting for St. Martin Newsroom.